to first pop your bezel off your radio. Flip it over. This little black collar on here just slides right off. Test that. Next we'll have to get the plug out. Starting with the nut in the center. To remove this outlet, first unscrew this nut. Right here, unscrew this nut. Once the nut is unscrewed, we can take the back half of this off and this tab here, which will free up the electrical socket from in here. And you can simply push the electrical socket out and it will fall through. With the electrical socket removed, you can depress the tabs here and here and slide the plastic housing through. When you go to wire in the rest of your car, spade connector on the side is your 12 volt, 12 volt hot. This one is your ground. So you'll be able to pull power from here. 12 volts. And ground to this one. So your hot is on the side. The USB adapter I bought from Amazon. It's too big to fit in this collet. So that's out. And the threads are too big to slide in this hole. So I'm going to have to dremel or rasp this out. I can't even get it to screw in. I'm going to use my Dremel, sort of a file or rasp. I made this pretty snug. It's not even screwed in yet, and it's, it doesn't want to come out easily. Fill that gap. Line that up. I'll take the locking collar and spin that on there. This one came with an inline fusible, inline fuse on the hot side. But it did come with a terminal connector. I'm going to switch this out for a spade so that I can use the stock wiring harness. Hot side is the smaller one. You can see one is larger one is smaller this one provides 12 volt power 12 volt power comes in the thin side ground is the wide blade there's your power source and there's your ground so grab your pack of shielded spade connectors from Lowe's Wires in there and grab on. Pull them out. Because who buys unshielded spades? Once you got that out, head back out to the car again in the dark to make sure that they're not too wide to fit in the stock wiring harness only fools hack up a stock wiring harness. Now we're all installed. Tell me the voltage my alternator's putting out. 